Well, in recent games of Assassin's Creed, many things and elements that we used to know with Assassin's Creed were faded or even removed. One of them was a stealth, which plays a key role in the gameplay. However, in AC Mirage, it seems like Ubisoft is aiming to improve itself and make it better or the best in the franchise. So, in this video, I wanna talk about some elements and points that make itself in AC Mirage better. I will start with the most important point, which I have talked about several times in previous videos. Parkour can play a very important role in itself, but it cannot do it alone. One thing that must be done well in addition to parkour to have a direct effect on itself is map design. If the parkour is fast and well designed, but the map design is not optimized for itself, we will not experience good itself gameplay. For the map design to be well suited for itself in my opinion, Buildings should be close together and there should be fewer open spaces on the map. In my opinion, self in AC Valhalla wasn't very good because the parkour was slow and clunky. Moreover, the places on the map that were meant for self, like bandit camps and forts, weren't well designed for sneaking around. The buildings were far apart and most enemies were in open spaces making it difficult to be a selfie. However, in Mirage, things look better, the parkour is improved, faster and smoother. Moreover, the city of Baghdad in the game is well designed for itself. There are buildings with more elements for parkour, houses and structures are close to each other, and there are narrower alleyways, all of which make itself more enjoyable. Another point that makes itself in the game much cooler is the crowd. The crowd of NPCs helps improve their self-experience. The interaction with NPCs used to be more abundant compared to recent RPG games, and the number of NPCs was much higher making the game world feel more alive. Additionally, Ubisoft can implement various cool and simple interactions with the NPCs. For instance, the ability to drop coins to gather NPCs together, which we used to do to distract enemies. In the gameplay trailer for Mirage, the number of NPCs seems to have increased and Baghdad appeared lively and full of soul in this trailer. However, Ubisoft hasn't revealed much about the interaction with NPCs. I hope that in Mirage, there will be more meaningful interactions with NPCs compared to previous RPG games, especially Valhalla. Another point is the enemy AI, which directly impacts stealth gameplay. As you know, when the enemy AI is smarter, the stealth experience becomes more challenging and engaging. In the first episode of the advertisement for Mirage, Ubisoft claimed that the enemy AI has improved. However, based on this part of the gameplay trailer, I don't agree with Ubisoft's statement. The behavior of the enemies and their dialogues in this scene seemed stupid and clueless just like in the previous games of the franchise. The last point is about the self animations. As we saw in the gameplay trailer, the self animations are faster than Valhalla, making the self experience smoother. This point is very clear and doesn't need further explanations because as you know, faster self animations result in a smoother gameplay. Well, that's it from this video. There are many things like tools and the environment that make a better, but I want to explain more because the time of the video will be long. In general, I hope we will have a gameplay with acceptable self along with a good story and other things. So thank you for watching the video until the end, share your thoughts about AC Mirage in the comment section and I will definitely read them. Till next time and may the stars guide your way.